What did Ahsoka get wrong? Welcome back. I made a video a couple weeks ago about the things that I think Ahsoka got right. And if you saw it, it was a lot of things. I think Ahsoka is a great series, but as with all entertainment, there are some areas where maybe they missed on a couple things. So I just wanted to throw out really a couple minor areas that I think Ahsoka may have missed the point. First of all, and this has been pretty well documented in, in my opinions over the last few months, but I am not a fan of them making Sabine Wren the person who made everything go wrong every single time. Throughout the series, we see Sabine takes the star map that Ahsoka has found when Ahsoka specifically says not to. She takes it back to her home on Lothal and Shen comes, Shen fights Sabine, they had that infamous stab scene, and Shen takes the map. First of all, the bad guys would have never had the map had Sabine never taken it in the first place. Now, I am okay with one lapse of judgment for a hero to have to overcome it, I get it, but that's not where it stops. Sabine has a chance to make things right when she has the map and she's gonna blast it, or she can give it to Balin who is manipulating her. Well, instead of blasting the map and destroying it and keeping Balin, Shin, and Morgan Elsbeth from finding Thrawn, Sabine gives it to him so she can see Ezra again. That's twice in a row that she has essentially handed the map over. I don't mind that the bad guys got the map. I love how the series went. I just don't like that they kept making it Sabine's fault. Jump ahead another couple episodes and Sabine Wren is used by Grand Admiral Thrawn to lead the enemies to Ezra Bridger. Now, we've all seen it. We all know how it works out. We know that the good guys end up making pretty quick work of, of those stormtroopers, but it still had to be Sabine. Like, they, they tricked her. They manipulated her. And it's like, she's smarter than that. She's not just going to keep getting tricked over and over and over. I know she's stubborn, but she's not going to cause every issue. And it's as if they decided, okay, Sabine's going to make a lot of bad choices. I, I think someone else could have made a bad choice. I don't know. Just my opinion. Now, I love the way everything worked out. Just small complaint. Maybe spread the errors around. Let me know what you think, though. The second, I don't know that Ahsoka necessarily got this wrong, but if they'd done more of what I wish they had done, I don't think anyone would have complained and that would be more Balin and Shin. I don't think anyone would argue the fact that Ray Stevenson stole the show as Balin's skull. He was so interesting. Everything he said just kind of had me wanting more of his character. Shin was a great apprentice. She's bad. She was good with lightsaber combat, seeking power. She is a good bad guy. We start off seeing quite a bit of them early in the series, but then as we get more into our main character story, obviously we paid more attention to the main character. And then when Thrawn shows up, we pay more attention to Thrawn. That's all okay. But man, it would have been awesome if we had even even more Balin and Shin. When they start the series off on that ship freeing Morgan Elsbeth, that was a great start to the show. And I think had we seen even more Balin and Shin, the show would have been even greater than it already is. Now, I do believe the story is set up to explore Balin and Shin more going forward. I think the season finale kind of begs for, for more of them. Now, it'll be interesting to see what Star Wars decides to do with Balin's character. I'm assuming they'll have to recast or they could deep fake maybe with Ray Stevenson's passing. I think these characters are going to continue. So this is not necessarily a complaint, just man, I really want to see more of them. And then lastly, and I know this was kind of a big complaint for everyone. I'm I'm kind of okay with it. I've reasoned it out in my head in canon, and that is how quick Sabine got so powerful in the force. A lot of Sabine's main tension outside of finding Ezra was wrestling with her force sensitivity or lack thereof um, throughout the season. And in the end, it all really comes together for her, but it comes together really quickly. She's able to pull that lightsaber to herself and, and kill one of Thrawn's stormtroopers. I don't mind that. We saw Rey doing that in The Force Awakens. She pulls the lightsaber from Kylo Ren. 
that that's not too big of a deal to me i mean she became force sensitive she pulls the saber cool but then after that she pushes ezra across that big expanse to get on thrawn's ship it seems like a lot now if this were the first time we had ever seen someone have a very accelerated progression of their force powers maybe i would have a bigger issue but we've seen ray have the same thing happen in the sequel trilogy i don't think it's unbelievable in the canon that we have it's just she went from zero and and really having no potential according to Hu Yang and then now she's pulling sabers to herself and she's pushing Ezra across a huge gaping leap onto Thrawn's ship do I have an issue with it not really but I could have lived without it as well so let me know what you thought about these what were your biggest complaints about Ahsoka thanks for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and you should probably check out one of these two videos next.